Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Daddy's fucking dungeon. Today it's Daddy's Inferno because it's hot as my huevos in here. It is fucking hot as dick in here. I swear it, to God. It's above. Uh, it's about 118 degrees in here. It's very fucking hot. That's all I can tell you. 118 degrees for episode 18. Is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 118 degrees. Yeah. It's that, fucking hot though. That's what my core body temperature is. It's fucking hot. I sent you a video today. I was, it's like I was in the sauna. Oh man, I was in the sauna. I was in the blue collar man sauna. It's like I was in the fucking sauna. Do you want to take a picture of this for me? Have your beer? Buzz Twitter. Hydrated Twitter. Sure, you want to use my phone? Yeah. Just send it to me though. No, I mean, you take it. Oh, okay. But then send it to me. I'll post it after the episode. Nah, but like, this guy, he's like straight fucking called me out. He was like, like, you're a Patriots fan, but like, why do you post your beer all the time? And I'm like, dude, your whole fucking page is you posting beer, ass face. It's fucking shit out of here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's International Beer Day. It is International Beer Day. We actually put the episode off just for beer. No, I'm not gonna lie. Um, did something very stupid. And I, <laughs> I, I went comatose. I died. <laughs> comatose. I died. One hundred percent. I died. Jesus Christ! You're on the brink of death. No, 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 no! I died. I, th- I legit thought I was gonna die. My fucking chest was like. <clears throat> you were on the edge of glory, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that a Lady Gaga song? I think. I don't it know. Is. I don't know. Cause I'm on the edge. Is, is that one of her songs? Glory. I think so. I'm sure it's fire. <laughs> okay. I, think I so. mean, I, I like Lady Gaga. I like some of her songs. I fuck with her too. <laughs> what the fuck does she know about cameras? What the fuck does she know about cameras? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a part owner of Polaroid. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. I'm excited for today. Yesterday, slept great. You know. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you sleep great? Dude, I woke up like I fucking pissed myself. Oh man. Woke Been up there like, before. like if I pissed myself, the whole fucking sheet was wet, my fucking head was sweating, it was bad. I was like, Wait, did you actually piss yourself? No. Have you ever pissed yourself? Yeah. Obviously as a child, but like into your later years in your life? I I'll say like three years ago, yeah. Three years what was the situation? Um I don't know, I was like in bed and I, I was having a dream about it, I was like in the jacuzzi. And I started like pissing, and I like woke up. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I woke up instantly, <laughs> and I had like a little bit of piss. And I was like, dude, I just fucking pissed myself. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, like I realized I was pissing in real life. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't bad though. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was bad. You know, I kind of did have a similar situation like that because you said you were, uh, you were, you started to pee in the in your dream, right? Yeah. I had a similar situation like that, where um, in my dream, mm-hmm. I got up. In the middle of the night, like it, was, like it was a normal day, I went to go take a leak, uh-huh. and then uh, I was like, oh my god, this is the most satisfying leak ever, you know? <laughs> I'm just looking up to the gods and holding my little peener. When was that? How long ago was this? Uh, I want to say this was about a year and a half, almost two years ago. Mm-hmm. But then, um, I'm just, it's like I'm peeing, right? Yeah. But it's a dream, bro. Ah, oh, fuck. So at that point, I'm like, oh, this is real life. I'm just going to release. I'm going to let it go. Oh, yeah. I full out, full fledged pissed myself, dude. Everything. No, was... bro. I woke up and instantly like, I was like, oh shit, I gotta go fucking take a piss. I didn't even wake up. It was just like, ah. And then you woke up in the morning, just fucking wet as fuck. Wet as fuck, dude. Gee, it's so, like, so you realized it was a dream, and you just said, fuck it. No, I thought because it was so close to real life mm-hmm. that I believed it was real life. Okay. Because I got up like I normally would in the middle of the night. Yeah. My bare feet, because I don't sleep with socks on. I don't know if you do or not. Hell no. I know some people do. What? Sometimes I sleep with socks on. It gives I s- me, no, get, I sweat too much, bro. It gives me a sense of comfort sometimes. When I sleep, I'm like a little heater, and I like sweat like a motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. dude, me too. But uh, I got up. My bare feet touched my brown, shaggy carpet. Yeah. Right? I started making my way down to the restroom. Oh, fuck. And it was literally a spitting image of what <clears throat> real life would have been. In my dream. So it was like, you had like a lot of ZMA, I think it's called? I don't even know. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
ZMA is like a chemical in your body that makes your dreams feel real. I think it's ZMA. I'm not, don't quote me, but I think it's that. Only three letter chemicals that I know that are in my body. DMT. And THC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, CBD as well, actually. Big, big fucking DMT guy, yeah? I, I've yet to try it, but we all have it. It's in, It's literally in our pineal gland. I'd, I'd be down to try it. Oh, you know that already. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I just want to experience it, but is there any side effects to it? Yeah, you can go schizo. Well, you can go schizo with anything. <clears throat> For example, like, if you're a... Uh, if, if you're already prone to becoming schizophrenic and you start mm-hmm. doing drugs, uh-huh. especially drugs... Just makes it worse. That'll, that'll lead you in the way of schizophrenia. It'll pretty much just, like, accelerate... And make it worse. It'll accelerate your uh, entrance into schizophrenia. Do you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, for example, if your family has a big history of schizophrenia mm-hmm. and you're more than likely to get it... Yeah. It's just gonna make the process a lot quicker for you. Jesus Christ. To get in front of schizophrenia. I mean, I, I'm like borderline autistic. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. No, I don't think so. No, <laughs> no I don't think so. But uh, at this point, if you've gotten pretty fucking toasted uh-huh. and you've yet to go schizo, I think you'll be all right. I see people sometimes when I'm like walking I'm, like, and I look and there's no one there. I hear people sometimes too. But it's like, I think that's just a sixth sense. I think it's just like a thing that I see in my mind and it's not really there. And that's what schizophrenia is. Yeah, you're insane. I had like one of those weird dreams one time where I thought it was real. I've never talked about it before, I don't think. Where you thought it was real? Yeah. I thought my piss dream was real. Well, I thought this was legit real. There was like this uh, this thing to help you sleep, but it's like a fat burner. I took this like a long time ago, like when I was like 15. And I stopped taking it because of this. Is that like, what you were taking recently? The the I think it's called capsaicin, where it like just yeah. heats your body up, yeah, like insane amounts. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I well, think that's I called capsaicin. That, but it, this one, it does it in your sleep. So it's like I'd have it. That's when I used to work out all the time. So like I'd take the pre- Thermovix. That's what it's called. Thermovix. When we used to work out all the time. Yeah. So I take Thermovix in the day. <laughs> as a pre-workout so you just take it when I work out but at night when I sleep it works when I sleep but the guy said be careful this it makes your dreams like feel real like you can control your dreams and I was like oh shit he's like, that's, just, that's sick and he's like no just be careful because like if you have like a nightmare it's gonna feel real and you're gonna wake up and I remember like um, remember that white dog used to have Spartan yeah so he would sleep in my room all the time and uh, I had a dream that he was biting my foot off like legit biting my foot off and I woke up like screaming in pain, but I woke up to him just licking my foot. Just straight licking it. Oh, so that just completely took you to another realm. Oh, dude, my foot hurt so bad when I woke up. What? And my, it, like, it hurt for so Like, it actually hurt. Like, a sharp pain, like something was biting it off, but it was just him licking it. But it all felt real. And nutrition professionals are selling this to a 14, 15, 16 year old. Hey, <laughs> what? Dude, half of the stuff in that nutrition shop is fucked up. Like, dude, ni- remember Nitroflex? It has, like, steroids in it. Man, I, they used to give us so much shit. They used to give us so much stuff. Dude, he's like, if you guys if you guys sweep up the store right now and clean the shelves, I'll give you I'll give you guys a free scoop. Oh, man, we clean the fuck out of that store. Dude, we used to use and abuse. Hey. Or, actually, they used and abused us. <laughs> Been there before, huh? <laughs> they used and abused you us. You were fucking abused. Sometimes, Sexually. Sometimes Sexually. Yes. And a Hummer that was fucking labeled Nutri Shop. A whoa, Nutri whoa, Shop whoa. wrap skin <laughs> Hummer. I think um, she's married now. Who cares? No, we're, we're not, not going to say her name. Yeah, we're not uh, We're not going to name drop anybody here, but sometimes, if you were, so, sometimes you're the abuser, sometimes you're the abusee. You were taken advantage of as, as, a, as a young <laughs> as a 15, 16-year-old year old man. <laughs> uh, I accept uh, that. It was nice, though. You enjoyed it. I was um, technically... Technically, you enjoyed it? I'm a part of the Me Too movement. Technically. You... Underage. <laughs> Technically. She with thicky. You know? She with thicky. I mean, with the sticky, uh. With the thicky, uh. Was she, yeah? Yeah? She had the little sticky? Good times. Those are good times. So you got your fucking bike still on there, too. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was the bike I got for Christmas. That's what you fucking get. You were but, doing sexual acts and you had your fucking bike stolen. I was sinning. I was sinning. Oh, yeah, totally. 
I was sinning. Jesus saw it, and he imagine, said, "Imagine it, what, what, what your mom would say if she found out you were sinning when your bike got stolen." Especially at that age, she would beat the fuck out of you. Your dad would no, beat the fuck no, out of no, you. No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What is that? What was fucking that? Fucking slapping you. You made it seem like I was giving them dome or something. <laughs> <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah, those are good times. Easy yeah. times, simple times. Yeah, really simple times. Very simple times. Do, Go to school uh, half the time. Do nothing. Listen to music all day. Yeah. Fuck around at lunch. Exactly. Leave school. Go to the gym. Get a pump. Hang out, and that's it. Get, oh. get buck. And get fucked. Legit, I would ditch school to go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. There was like a point in time where I was ditching school to go to the gym. My dad found out. Oh, man. I thought I was so smart. Like, oh, I know when they call. Because it's like an automated message. So it just goes in order. And they would call like at 5.15 every day. Yeah. I'd just sit by that fucking phone and answer it right at 5.15. Not even one ring would get through. Dude, my, my parents never got a call. Yeah, and then like. Because the school never had their number. And then the school loop. Yeah, like my dad had my school because I hadn't fucking shit grades for a while. Well, even well, school loop has like a, a parent one and a student yeah, one. Yeah, so I knew his login, so I'd log in, delete the message. I thought I was so fucking smart until like you know like the cops came to the house and no one knew where I was and yeah, that was a great time. What? I would ditch school that much. That no one knew where you were. Well, like so after a certain amount of times of like letters and shit coming to the house, they realize that like the students lying, so they bring a cop here. Oh, okay. So that's what happened. Yeah, that, that those were good times. So where were you? Well, I was at the gym. Just by yourself? Yeah. I know for a fact you trained with a couple guys here and there. Oh, dude, I trained with the guys at the gym. Yeah. Like, remember that one guy, like Brandon? He he was a, he worked at Twenty Four. Oh hours. yeah yeah yeah. He used steroids. Super buff, fucking. Dude, I'd work out with him all the time. Acne all over the place. His leg days were fucking intense. Yeah. 12 sets of leg press, 12, uh, 12 sets of hack squats, and then 12 sets of fucking leg extensions, and then 12 sets of calf raises, and that, that's his leg day. He doesn't want to have any more knees. No. Well, dude, I remember just, like, getting off the machine after leg press. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he's like, all right, you ready to go? Let's go to hack squat. And I'm like... Doing a fucking army crawl off the leg press? I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm about to fucking die. And then there was Gabe Nuts. You remember Gabe Nuts? Yes, yes, yes. Me and him ended on bad turns, but it's okay. I still respect him. I blocked him and everything. So you don't respect him? No, I was, <laughs> I was, I was like a little kid back then. He was yeah. like, he was like trying to tell me shit, and how, how to like live my life and shit. And I was like, I don't want to hear it blocked. Well, at that point, that was literally a grown fucking man. Yeah. He well, was like in his at mid-30s, the time, At the time, I was 40s. 17. Right. Yeah. I had dinner with him, and I kind of like told him my whole life, because I didn't see him for a while. I told him what's going on with my life, and then he just started like fucking grilling me, bro. Like bad. I probably should have listened to him, but. No, you absolutely should have listened to him. Yeah. He wanted me. He wanted me to be a salesman with him. He's like a number one salesman for uh, Foreman Grills. I, I knew. Remember? Yeah, I, I totally remember, remember that shit. And I just could not. I couldn't get myself to do it. Nah, man, fuck that shit. You don't want to do that. Yeah, no, I couldn't. He's like, he's like, he's like, Dylan. He's like New Jersey. He's like, Dylan. I make six figures a year selling grills, but he's I he's a grill man. Okay, okay. I don't know if that's how New Jersey people talk. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know if that's so, how they talk. I called him Gabe Nuts. His name was Gabe. Big fucking beefy white dude, long hair, big ass beard. That that's all you need to know. Yeah, you don't want to sell George Foreman girls. That's the guy that sells George Foreman girls right there. You're like, you want to buy some meat? I'm the guy that fucking represents that you power want, lifter. You want to be a co-host on Daddy's Dungeon, not a co-salesman on fucking George Foreman. True. That's right. But yeah, it would work out with him a lot. Uh, remember our boy that you know has that walk? He walks on his toes like his cat. He does like little cat raises when he yeah, walks. Yeah, fucking lolly. He would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lolly, yeah. We talked about him before. Um, I'd work out with him a lot. Like, me and him would ditch school together. Uh, yeah, fucking, was, that fucking guy. Dude, like, one of my first Snapchat saves is us at the gym, like, really late at night. Like, me, you, him, and somebody else. And he has his shirt off. Do you remember this? I was going to beat the living dude, shit out of that guy. So, and, and you're just in the corner just like all fucking pissed. And he's like bouncing on a ball with his shirt off. And I'm like, put your fucking shirt on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are the days. Dude, because, I mean, I just... I didn't fuck around when I went to the gym. I, I wasn't there to fuck around. I know. That's why I'm at school. That's why, like, a girl literally blocked me. Remember that? Yes, dude. dude yes, I actually do funny. remember that. That was you were, funny. You were trying to slide into that puss. Dude, I had that on lock. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you did it. No, I had it on lock. Obviously, you did it. Boy, I had that shit on lock. You were trying to slide into that puss, and then uh, eventually... So this is what happened. You fucked around too much. Dude, she invited me to her quinceanera. 
as a Chamberlain? No. Oh, see? But I, did, I barely knew her then. Okay. But we would talk every day, like, and I thought she was cool. She's way hotter now than back in the day. So, shout out to her. She's, you know, living life, doing good. I haven't seen this gal since. You should look her up. Last like, right now. Nah, I'll look her up later. Okay, well, she's looking good. That's all I'm going to say. She's looking good. Anyways, she's like, oh, like, I'd, lo- I'd love to come to the gym with you. And blah. She was, her best friend is dating one of our friends. That's what, that's how I met her. Well, we're working out, and she's, like, texting on the machine. And I'm like, it's your set. Hold on, I'm texting. And after, like, three sets of that, and I was like, hey, if you're not going to fucking work out, then get the fuck out of here. And she's like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm here to work out. I'm not here to text. Oh, man. She's like, I'm leaving. And she was all pissed. We never talked again. You're like, I'm here to work out or yeah. fuck? <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> well, dude, I was like, I was fucking there to work out, my guy. Or fuck. You know the Dory Nates machine? Great doll. No. You know what Dory Nates is? Yeah. Yeah. So he has like this, it's like a chess machine. It's like that fucking one. It's like two bars over here, and it's like you're seated like this, and it just pushes up and down. So like a ch- just a chess press. Just just a chess press, but okay. it's, like, it's it's like his machine. That's what that's uh, that's his favorite. All right, machine. all right. That's it doesn't say that machine. on the labels, but sure. It's a hammer strength, whatever. Fuck it, right? So that's what we were on, and she like would not fucking, she would not fucking get off her phone. It just pissed me off. But yeah, back when I used to work out all the time. She so what happened? Haters. Woman. Bringing you down. Oh, yeah. Biggest woman? hater. Yeah, woman. It, maybe one. She, not, not even plural, just <laughs> okay. woman. So a woman, not yeah. women. I mean, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but yeah. like, when I'd go to the gym, she would like not stop blowing me up. She'd think I was cheating on her. So instead of like, you know, ending that, I just stopped going to the gym. I said, you know what? This, this is easier. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I legit Fuck, thought this in man. my head. Yes. See, but the thing is, that's like something that... That's a getaway. You know what I mean? See, but I fucked up, dude. And then I gained like a hundred and something pounds. You fucked up very hard. Oh, very hard. Because that that's a getaway. Everybody mm-hmm. needs a getaway. Everybody needs a vice. That's that's that was your vice at the time. I know. And that was stripped away from you? Yeah. So literally you're just running circles inside of your head. What are you gonna do all day? Eat and play Eat. video games. Exactly, that's exactly what happened. And she was happy with that. Yeah. Most women are. Most women are. It's like a controlling thing. I don't know if most women are. But I'm saying, like, men were so simple. It's just like, jerk off, wake up, go to work, jerk off again, sleep, and that's it. Eat in between, you know? And then women are like, oh, he just farted. Like, what does that mean? Is he cheating on me because he farted? Dog. (laughs) (laughs) You'd be surprised. I've yet to hear a girl fucking rip one in real life. I've seen it all over TikTok. I've heard it all over TikTok. Oh, dude. But in real life, yeah. I've yet to fucking hear. So you're a trying to tell me that she's one. never farted in front of you? No. Never. I've never ever heard anybody. Never even you're hitting it from the back and some air seeps through and it makes like a little fucking That's vagina a queef. fart. Vagina not fart. Not a fucking fart. That's a vagina fart. A fart comes from the asshole, not the vagina. I don't know if you're right on that one. I am absolutely right on that one. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm about. I'm about seven, sixty or seventy percent sure that's where it comes from. I think it's called a vagina fart. That's a queef. I know it's a queef, but technically it's also vagina farting. Yes, but so I'm you've heard about that a real fucking shit fart. But you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. So you're not counting that. No, I'm not counting that. Does she get embarrassed after? Sometimes it, I, you, I don't know. Sometimes they get embarrassed. Yeah. But to me, I just keep going because I'm like, I like you know it. What? I like it. Why does it happen though? Why does why does that happen? Like you know what I'm talking about? You bend them over and you're like, and then you hear like, it's like a. But I feel like it's like. Okay, you know how, you, well, a lot of people nowadays they have those uh, phone holders on their windshields yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. that are suction cup to the glass, uh-huh. right? But the thing is, if there's like a pocket of air in there, it won't suction to it. Mm, 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 mm. So that's what happens when you're going in and out. A pocket of air there slips, slips in, there. in. So as soon as it comes out. Been That's exactly before. what it's like. Been fucking there before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like air's getting so it's like so it's like here's the hole and like your penis is in there, right? And then there's like that little hole of air and then you're going in and it kinda all that air that's in the back just kind of forces out. Or like even if you're just take it completely out and go back in. Uh-huh. Oh, completely out, go back in. You know? I, I like that. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> they move their leg up. <laughs> oh, we're Daryl, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking Daryl. Oh, oh man, that was 
sounds. I too. love that sound though. Yeah. But you know what I haven't noticed though? That's I'm fucking terrible. I've never noticed to see if there's a scent to it. I, I'm too in the moment to even. You know what I mean? Of course you'd want to know if there's a fucking smell. I don't think there is. I don't think there is either. <laughs> I don't even think it's a because fart. Because that's not a real fart. It's out. not a fart. Yeah, you're it's right. Not a fart. You're 100% right. It's a queef. We, we've come down to the bottom. The here. fart comes from the asshole that's connected to the intestines. That has gas. That has gas. From the stomach. That came from your mouth. From bacteria inside of your stomach. That goes out the asshole wow. and fumes. Exactly. Wowzers. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, dude, I've yet to fucking... The, the only woman in my life I've ever heard fart your was mom. my mother. I knew it. She ain't got no shame in her game. She's like, hey, I birthed you fucking three fuckers. I'm gonna fart if I want to. No, but see, the thing is, it's very, very, um, few, very few and far in between <laughs> that whenever she does fart it's in front of funny. us, <laughs> it, dude, she fucking starts dying. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> And my mom, man, I, I love my mom, dude. She's just this innocent little beaner lady. Uh-huh. And she's just, she's just so funny. Yeah, I fucking of, bet. Because of how innocent she is, you know what I mean? She's so like... <laughs> You're like, she would have fart. No, she definitely fucking probably ripped some. But it's like... Um, See, women are so like casual about it. I bet you fart in front of your girl before. A bunch of times. <laughs> I fucking fart in front of anybody and everybody, man. Yeah, see, it's like we have, like, no shame. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Let me ask you this. You go into a restroom, right? Uh-huh. You see the row of porta-potties. Yeah. There's people in there. It's it's a busy place. Say you go to, like, a Dodger game or something like that, right? Yeah. You go into the restroom. You hit up a porta-potty. Not a porta-potty, I'm sorry. You hit up a urinal. Yeah. And then... As you're peeing, you just start feeling like, man, I, I got I some, gotta fart. I got some gas building up. I gotta let something go. I've never had this experience. Do you do it? Do you let it go, or do you kind of hold it in? Um, I never experienced that. I'd probably hold it in. You've never experienced that? No. Really? Like not at like in a public place? No. You know what? At work, I hold it in. Uh huh. Unless there's, I know there's no one in there. But yeah. Also, you have experienced it then. Yeah, it's so just thought about so it. So you hold it in. Yeah. See, I have, like, so, like, at work, when I need to fart, I have to, like, because I'm always getting called by somebody at all all hours, all minutes, all fucking days, I'm getting called by someone. Dylan, helping the... Yeah. Ha- helping the loading department, Dylan. Helping so, the loading department. You, you can ask the homie Jake. All the time, I'll, I'll text him, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I can't even fucking fart. I, like, look around, I'm like, okay, I gotta fart, then I'll fart, and then, like, next thing I know, someone's walking up, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So, like, I have to do something to get him out of the way, whoa, have you seen that? And I'm like, I, I do something to get him, get him away from my fart. But you've been working there for how long? Oh, f- almost five, and, and you still have shame in your game at this point? What well, I mean, I don't want to fart around the ladies, come on. Fucking let it rip, dog. Nah, bro. Let it fucking rip. Fuck no. Why not? Well... Let me finish my story. So there's like one point where I was like, okay, I got to fart so bad that I walked outside and pretended I was counting some material that's like way the farthest away from anybody. And this one supervisor comes up to me. It's like he saw me. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I need to fart. And I, I remember sending Jake like this whole <laughs> voice message of just like, just going off. I was like, I can't even fucking fart in peace. I got so much fucking work going on. I just go, fuck. And then I farted. But yeah, a lot of times when I fart, someone walks up like right after. I have to like make an excuse to like, Get away from that area. It's bad. It's, it's not fun. Oh, I think it's uh, super fun. You probably fart all the time at work. I crop dust people like crazy at work. Because <laughs> I'm just always on the go. I'm always moving, you know? Uh-huh. So it's like, they're Funny. not even going to know it's me. Uh-huh. By the time they notice it was me, I'm gone. I'm gone. You know, literally. Like yeah. road, I'm, I'm like Roadrunner. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm gone, baby. This is. Oh man, yeah, no, dude. I, I, I like I don't even shit at work. It's I shit today at work, but like, it's, it it's hard for me. It's fucking dirty there. I, man, I took a fatty at work today. I fucking but bet. We talk about shit a lot. Yeah, we talk about a lot of shit a lot. We talk about shit a lot. Let's move on. How was your weekend? You know what? Actually, I uh, I talk about shit so much that I fucking ate it. Yeah. I went to the movies actually. Uh huh. This I, weekend? Because I'm a big movie guy. This weekend? You know I'm a big movie guy. This yeah, weekend? this weekend. Okay, cool. And I saw the new Elvis movie. I know it's been out for a while now, but I saw I finally saw it. And how good was he? It was amazing. Fuck yeah. Austin Butler, man. That's his name. 
Well, Austin Butler, that was the actor that played Elvis. Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah, Austin Butler. Man. He killed it. Man, man, that's a fucking man right there. Oh, yeah. he killed it that bad? That good, I mean? I mean, like, bad. He's bad. Yeah, that, that, man, that man got it. He got it. Hell yeah. A great movie. Amazing movie. Tom Hanks was in it, too. I didn't know that. Oh, you mean the child sex, sex predator? Tom Hanks. Oh, okay. Tom Hanks. Yeah. You know? So then, um, but... I'm just totally calling him out. I've always been a fan of Elvis ever since I was a kid. Yeah. But I never really dove deep into his history and stuff like that. And, you know, it, this isn't really a spoiler because you have to really watch the movie to understand what I'm talking about. You mean how he's like a fucking drug abuser? No, no, no. I mean, most people knew that, but I didn't know that he got done so dirty. What do you mean? So this is like a giant spoiler that you, you have to really watch no, the movie to no, get no, into no. it? No, yes. What I'm talking about is the details spoiler. of how he got done dirty. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because this this tends to happen with most... Uh, with most Like rappers? Young celebrities. Oh, okay. Well, celebrities... When I say celebrities, I'm talking about like... Disney Channel young stars. Young athletes, young actors, young musicians. Yeah. Just anybody who's starting their career... And really has to take a leap of faith to get it, get the ball rolling. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, and get their name out there. Yeah. For example, like Mike Tyson got done hella dirty. Oh yeah. Right. Real Went dirty. Went broke. And there's, there's a recurring theme like that, uh -huh. where managers or coaches or whatever it may be, do, do, do their, that. Yeah, do that. They do, they do the dirty. And so, um, I didn't know that man. He got done so fucking dirty. And. It. It pissed me off so much. I was literally sitting there in anger. Yeah? I was sitting in anger, and it was one of those movies where I was just watching it, and I just wanted to... Like, beat the shit out of that guy. Beat the shit out of that guy. Not Elvis himself. The guy who did the it. The guy that was doing him dirty. Was it his manager? It was his manager. I, that's it. No more spoilers. And, the movie's uh, been out for fucking three months, guys. It's Throw been up. out for a good while, but I'm, still, I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah. You know? I've spoiled enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned my lesson, hopefully. No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, sorry, fucking. <laughs> no. But yeah, dude, literally, um, I, I was just sitting there in anger, and I literally wanted to yell at the screen. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that I wasn't at home. You know? Would you do it if you were at home? Oh, totally, man. You're like, are you fucking kidding me? Totally. I remember I went to go watch uh, Endgame. Yeah. Like the second, the second one. There's one endgame, bro. There's no second endgame. Okay, what, what's the second one with Thanos? There's is Infinity it? War. Okay, it's endgame. And then endgame is the last yeah, one. Yeah, so I remember I went to go watch endgame in theaters, like, the second day it came out. And oh, then, like, man. This, okay, spoiler alert, everyone. No, sorry. No spoiler alerts, bro. This shit's been, out, been out for, for years. years. So when he snaps his finger, like, as soon as they all thought that Thanos had the, the glove back, right? And then everyone goes to Tony Stark. The whole fucking theater was cheering like fucking little nerds and shit. Where he's like, I am yeah. inevitable. Yeah. And then he's like, clink. Yeah, and then it shows Iron clink. Man and he like, goes like that. Dude, everyone was screaming. He's and like, I mean like... I am Iron Man. Like, I know you've seen, like, you've seen the viral videos of it oh, happening. yeah, dude. Yeah. That's how it was. And I was like, are you fucking kidding that me? That is... How did that feel? It actually felt really good. Dude, did you join in? I clapped. And you yelled. just clapped. Everyone's you just fucking clapped. I'm not gonna yell, bro. You gotta yell. You gotta stand. You gotta jump. You gotta fucking go crazy. Oh, there was people you gotta jumping. Gotta their energy, man. Dude, there was people jumping and yelling and shit. Yeah. It was crazy. I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah, because not only is that a crazy moment in in that uh, in that cinematic fucking history or whatever universe universe his it's also in a cinematic crazy history. moment in cinematic yeah, history yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You're right. But um, it's like. No one is, no one's gonna bat an eye because you went just as crazy as the other guy, as yeah, the next right. guy. You're right. Because everybody's going that hard. What if I like took my shirt off and just started jumping up and down? Dog, if you started fucking swirling that shit like a cowboy <laughs> with his lasso, people would salute you for that shit. Man. Uh, I mean, I just clapped and I was like, damn, this is. I just remember saying, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, just like the people that show up for the Star Wars movies and even the uh -huh. even the MCU movies. Yeah. That they show up dressed up in their favorite character like nobody nobody talks shit on them um, you know what I mean yeah. it's like they love that shit yeah you're right you're right you know you're right 100% 100% and it's like the better your costume is the more you're saluted I need a costume bad for this Halloween I need to go off this Halloween hey man go big or go home 
Like, remember, like, I did a pretty good costume last year. It was all right. It was, it was all right. Good. It was all right, but it was better than everyone else at work. It I was, swear. It, it was very easy to do. Yeah, but I still made it. It was very okay. Basic. Well, everyone at work compared to that was like dog shit. Yeah. And like, I thought I was gonna win the competition. Me and the girl I did it with. The person that won. Okay, so the person that was like, oh, we're instead of like actually voting on it. She's like, oh, let's clap for everybody. Oh, let's hear it for this person. Clap. And she did that like eight times in a row. Just like all five people that did it. And then she's like, okay, well, you're the winner. And it's like, what the? F-? Everyone was like, what? They gave it to this fucking lady. She literally just put a hat on. So she was like in all work clothes <laughs> and she put a witch's hat on. And then she won. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? It's a $50 gift card and three days vacation. It's that. It's because they got that old lady respect. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck that geezer bitch. I dressed up and everything, and everyone was cheering for us and shit. It was fucking horseshit. Yeah, see, you saying that kind of actually takes me back to a to a time in my life where this is elementary school, right? Fourth grade. You know, I don't know if they had this at your elementary school, but they had this Halloween parade uh-huh. where around the playground. I don't really remember elementary school. That everybody much. would dress up. I was bullied as a child. Yeah. Still am. But you're not a child anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but any everybody would dress up. And then um, they would get in a line by class, mm-hmm. and they would just walk around. Uh huh. They would just walk. It was a Halloween parade. They would be showing off their costume. They'd candy. Be, they'd be playing all no no candy. Fucking they'd bullshit. They'd be playing all kinds of uh, crazy Halloween music. Thanks, Michelle. All kinds of uh, kids' Obama. parents even showed up too. Uh huh. You know what I mean? So that was my first real like look at milfs and stuff like that. Nice. But <laughs> anyways, <laughs> I'm not talking about that. But um, I was never in that line. No? I was never in that line. I was always on the sidelines in my seat because... You didn't have any costume. I never had a costume because... I wasn't big on dressing up either. I wanted to. I wanted to be in the line. Why'd you tell your mom? My mom said it was the devil. (laughs) Yes, I was just about to say that. Yes, She said it was for... It was a celebration of the devil. Yep. So I couldn't dress up. That's like with, like, my nephew, Isaiah. It's like I'm fucking Bobby Boucher in this bitch. Like... (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to dress up as Spider-Man. And walk in a fucking circle. What's the harm in that? We gotta go to Laverne this year. I, t- I told Jake about it. We all gotta dress up. You ever been to Laverne? No. For Halloween? I'm sure they got those king size shits. No, it's it's not that they have these king size shits. I don't know what it is about Laverne on Halloween. Th- you know, like Horror Nights, how packed it is. There's people. That's how packed it is. Oh, it's like a it's, it's like just a whole like, Halloween festival. It's like insanely packed and. Yeah. When I was like way young, like I'm talking about three, four, so I don't, I don't remember it. But my dad has all these pictures, just hundreds of people at the house, hundreds. And like the most famous one is this guy legit dressed up as a rock. He got like PVC pipe and kind of bent it and like put like a little whatever on there, like probably paper, some some, some type of paper. Look exactly like a rock. Bent PVC pipe. It's like it's like kind of bent a little bit, it's like bent. Curved it. Curved. Okay. Okay, it's curved. And he's dressed as a rock, and that's like that was like the most famous fucking costume of all time, apparently. A rock? Yeah, a rock. It was pretty funny. A rock. Yeah, but we gotta go. Dude, it gets litty titty. That'd be sick. You know litty where we should go titty. this Halloween? We should go to Suicide Bridge. Oh, just jump? Pasadena. No. It's Eagle Rock. Close enough. No. Wait, what? It's Eagle Rock. Man. No, it's a, I'm pretty sure. Dude, I pass by that shit every day. Pretty sure it's Eagle Rock. Anyways, whatever. Anyways, whatever. We should go at 3 in the morning, go under the bridge, <clears throat> and just document whatever we see. What, fucking crackheads all over the street? Jesus. No, nah, man. At 3 a.m. is witching hour. I guarantee you there's some spooky stuff going down there. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> all the people that jumped? Oh, yeah, man. It's a nice fucking bridge, too. Oh, I know. You know? And it's big enough to, like, my aunt said that when the bridge was first made, the fruit, you know the fruit was next to it? Yeah. Well, the fruit wasn't even there yet. And uh, people would fly their planes under there, like, com- like com- com- is it commercial? Like GTA type stuff. Yeah, like little like two seater planes. Yeah, yeah, they fly it under that like for fun. Those are private. Private. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's sick. That's how old my aunt is. And they got like an achievement. <laughs> yeah. <Ba-ding. laughs> Didn't die today. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's. I've always wanted to do that, or I've always wanted to stay in like a. I've always been interested in. And going to, like, haunted places. I've never been, though, unfortunately. No? Like, staying at the Queen Mary, I would love to do that. I've always wanted to do that. Staying at Chaffey High School overnight, I would love always to do that. Uh, at Pioneer, there was, like, this old fucking story about that. 
like one of the janitors got shot there or something yeah. and if you go at a certain time you can hear some shit and I've been a bunch of times you can hear some shit but I don't know if it's like fake or not bro well, I heard back in the day at Upland High School there was a teacher that hung him or herself in <laughs> his or her classroom built different man built fucking different it's huh? crazy that is fucking crazy. And I also heard that Upland High School is the reason why most high schools don't use, or all high schools don't use lockers anymore. Is that real? Because I heard there was a huge drug bust in Upland High School. Oh, fuck. Huge drug bust. Tons of kids had tons of cocaine. Holy fuck. And their fucking lockers. Our high school is really old. It is really And our old. high school is actually kind of famous, in a way. Dude, our high school is huge. It's huge. It is huge. Isn't it like 3,000 kids? Upwards of 5,000 kids, Yeah, bro. that's a lot of fucking kids. That's yeah. that's way bigger than most high schools. Yeah, way bigger. That's way bigger than most cities in the Midwest. Shout out to the U. That's bigger than all cities in the Midwest. Shout out to the U. Except for maybe Oklahoma City and like really downtown cities. You know yeah. what I mean? Wow. Yeah. It's but I want to go huge. all out this Halloween. Like I'm thinking about dressing up like, uh, I don't know his name, but he's on the bench warmers. He like eats sunscreen. Ah. I'll have like my little plastic sword and sunscreen and like a little blonde wig or some that shit. I want to dress up like that. It'll be so Man. funny. See, I'm not going to say it. I, I just want the people to see it. Well, I don't not, know what I'm going to dress as yet. It's still going to be a surprise as of now. My costume is solidified. I know what the fuck I'm well, doing. Well, I know what you want, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep my fucking mouth Do shut. Do you know? Yes. What is it? What? Band. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you do know. I do know. We do know. Yeah, we talked about it before. It's going to be fucking sick, It's going to be so sick. It's going to be oh, sick. Oh, we're going to dress up on Halloween, huh? Hey, what day is Halloween? Halloween, um... It falls on... Let's see. I think it's a Wednesday this year. We're in August. Man, Will Smith hates this month. Why? Because it's August. What does that mean? She had an entanglement with August. <laughs> oh, fucking I saw that. Dude, it's on a fucking Monday. Damn it. It's on a Monday. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, you know, we... Yeah, we'll do our thing, whatever. Yeah. Man. No, for, for sure. That sucks. Hey, can I take a picture again? For what? I just want to see one thing. But, um... That's you, all you, that, that's I only have, like, five gigabytes on this phone, That's bro. all you did this weekend? Didn't do anything else? Um, you know what? I... I watched the Elvis movie... I'm trying to think what else I did, but obviously everybody that listens to this knows that I'm a boring piece of shit and that I, I don't do anything with my weekends. I know, but I still love you. I really value lounging around in my house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I like that's... It, what do you mean by lounging? Just chilling in my room, being able to just fucking walk around, playing what you, video what games. What do you wear at home? Because every time I see you, you're always in pants at all times. I've only seen you in shorts twice. I, I mean, yeah, I wear shorts at home sometimes too. But, but uh, bless you. Yeah, dude. If I'm like chilling, laying in bed or whatever, I'm never wearing pants. Good, I thank God. But sometimes I do. I throw up a little in my mouth right there. Good. Sometimes I do. I'm yeah. just like, oh, I just want to dress up. I want to get cute, mm-hmm. feel good, look good, you know, and play some Red Dead. Have you got the second one yet? Yeah, that's the one I'm busting out right now. Hey, dude, I actually just pre-ordered FIFA 23. <laughs> like, just for you got here. Nice. The ultimate edition. Nice. It's fire. It's like 110 bucks, huh? No, uh, I have... Since I have Game Pass, it gives you EA Play. It's like EA's fucking version of whatever. Yeah. And it gave me... It was for 70 bucks. So it's oh, 170. Yeah, I get big big ass discount. Yeah, so it's like bad. I just bought the game for 10, 10 bucks more. Yeah. Ultimate edition. It's pretty sick. It gives you a bunch of perks and everything, huh? I just was looking at your hat, and then I realized, like, what hat I'm wearing... How does it feel to have like the two worst teams in baseball right now? How's it feel? Well, we're fucking dog shit, both of us. Ain't nothing new to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Giants have been good, dude. Yeah, they've been all right. Like they've been making the playoffs. Yeah. You know? Angels, no. We hit seven, 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 seven. Okay. Can, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we hit seven single home runs yesterday and still lost. So, so like. Just one run home runs, still lost. Eight to seven to the A's, but the A's are on fire right now. What can we do, man? Just like you guys were on fire in the beginning of the season. We won like 15th Street. And it was insane. It was crazy. But uh, I just, I completely, my train derailed. I heard what I was going to say. You're talking about uh, lounging around, how you love it. Red Dead. Oh, so, yeah. So, dude, I've had this for the longest time. 
I'm, I've had an infatuation with cowboys. Okay. And I want to say it's been over two years now that I've had this infatuation with cowboys. Okay. And big Clint Eastwood guy, big John Wayne guy. Clint Eastwood, John Wayne, wider. Fucking Bitch, I'm John Wayne. Bang. All them, you know. You know that song, John Wayne? Denzel Curry? No. It's fire. But, dude, I would love to live in that era. Yeah? Absolutely. Just fucking stand off and like six steps out. <laughs> Just the outlaw era? Kill those movies. The over. western uh-huh. cowboy era? Yeah. I would love to live in that era. Really? Yes, absolutely. If I had to live in what, it. What about it, like. Like, makes you go to that so much. What? Because I know, like, you said you wanted to live off the land if you could. And That's one thing. Uh-huh. That's one thing, because... They were forced to. They were absolutely forced to. And I would love not to depend on a job for me to get my food and all that shit. Excuse me. Just like you were saying, I would like to live off the land. But it's also, like, um, obviously, they did have things to worry about as far as, like, where am I going to get my next meal? Mm-hmm. You know, is it... Is there a bounty on my head? Is someone looking for me? And stuff like that. Yeah. But it's like, life was a lot simpler then. Mm-hmm. If I don't like you, fuck you. Pull up. Yeah, let's run it. Well, bam, bam. Let's fucking go, baby. Oh, you were going to kill him. You know? I'll fucking kill the guy. That's that's how it went down, bro. So you don't like somebody now and you just, what'd you, what'd you do? I ain't going to kill him. I ain't going to kill him. Because <laughs> it's definitely a lot harder to... To get rid of those uh, fucking five stars in GTA, <laughs> then it wasn't Red Dead to get rid of your bounty. Yeah, you know. But um, not only that, it's like just riding around on a horse all day, you know, and, and their aesthetic as well. Yeah, just everything about it. Everything about them. leather. You're big leather. It, it, this explains a lot about you. Yeah, big leather guy. I big yes. want to live off the land. You know, I'm a big leather guy. I just the only thing I shy away from is the uh, the hats, the assless chaps. No, I'll wear those. Oh, okay, uh-huh. especially if they're like assless, genuine leather. Oh yeah. Uh, even if they're assless, I'm with it. <laughs> I'll go with it. You know, I should actually invest in some. You should. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that I, I I just love it. You just love lounging that, around. That's always been. No. I, know, I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. I was talking about that. I was thinking about the assless chaps. You just you just in nothing but assless chaps. Round and round and assless chaps <laughs> and socks. And socks. White but white fucking tube socks. If uh, the baby's awake. <laughs> Go back to sleep, little fucking baby. <laughs> we might have a special appearance on that. But episode. if um, if you could choose any area to live in, any era to live in, what era would it be? Early thousands. Early thousands, really. It just seemed like a vibe back then. Two thousands? Yeah, like, like you, know, al- you know, you know, nine eleven. A little bit after. So you want to prevent? Oh, a little bit after. Yeah. Oh, I thought you would have wanted to prevent the terrorists. I'm talking about like when I'm born, like two thousand. That I, I would have liked to have been, like, like in my teens. In your teens. Yeah, I would have been like fifteen, maybe. You know, like two thousand, I'd have been like fifteen. You know. Yeah. So right now you would have been like thirty or something, huh? Yeah. But I mean, like that that whole era seemed like a whole vibe to me. You know, like the style, Y two K, the music, the the start of like technology, like they, really getting advanced. That's they, like the start of it. They did have amazing music, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that, you know, like that that seems fucking cool to me. That seems cool to me. The start of technology, man. Not like the start, of, but you get what I'm saying, like advanced technology. Yeah, like as far as computers and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like really getting advanced. That seems really cool to me. Yeah, no, dude. I feel you. But it's like, don't you think... No, uh, I guess not. I was going to say, don't you think it would be frustrating? But obviously it would be frustrating because I have and use the technology we have today. Mm-hmm. So I think it would be frustrating because going back then, it's like, got to wait fucking 10 minutes for it to boot up. <laughs> but at that point, you'd be like, holy shit, that was so fast. I know. You know? Like, the startup times from then to now is, like, insane. Like, we, we saw, like, even with the Xbox One to the Xbox X. Like, remember I showed you? It was, like, 15 seconds for 2K yes. after, like, a minute and 20. That's fucking insane. Well, back in those days, like, when it was barely starting up, computers were about the size of this room. I know. Insane. Maybe go back, like, 15 years, but yeah. Maybe 20. Well, when, when computers were starting up. No. Way earlier, but yeah. When computers are starting. We'll fight you on that one. 
They already had smaller computers by then. No, but the thing is, like... Oh, yeah, but when they first started, yeah, they were giant as fuck, yeah. That's what I'm saying, when computers were starting... That wasn't in the 2000s, but yeah. No, I'm just saying when computers were starting... Yeah, yeah, I know, they were giant as fuck. They were huge. And, like, you know, like, the floppy disk? It only holds, like, so many gigabytes, like, so little, and then now we have, like, a little drive, like, fucking, like, that fucking big, like, your cunt here, holds, like, 50. It's, like, 20 times a fucking floppy disk. Yeah, well, we have a fucking hard drive that's this big, holds two terabytes. SSD, but yeah. I don't even know how big that is. It's like 2,000 gigabytes. But it's a lot. It's a lot. It's so much that I don't have to worry about deleting anything. Uh, not yet. I've been contemplating deleting a lot of stuff, though, because, like, it's kind of been there for a while. You know, episodes are out. One of my turns fell off. We'll be all right. Yeah, We've right. made it work so far. We can yeah. make it we, we can can work again. Yeah. So. But um, you know what I also did was this past weekend, I went to the mall. Because that's something that my boring ass tends to do a lot. I just go to the mall. Walk I just, around. I just look at stuff that I that I like. Yeah. I don't buy it. I just look at it. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. How mm-hmm. much is it? It's 110 dollars. Oh, put it back. <laughs> you know. But um, I was just walking around and I was thinking to myself. Actually, you know what? So I was walking, mm-hmm. and I come across the dreaded. The most hated. Hot topic? No. The fucking shoe cleaner kiosk. Oh, motherfucker. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He's let, like, hey, bro, your shoe's dirty as fuck, boy. Let me let, clean them shits. Let me go across the way. Let, let me, me go clean across them shits, boy. You know? And it's this, uh... And typically, I, you would think that they go for the dudes with Jordans, Dunks, like Nikes and stuff like that. What do I wear? What are you wearing right now? I wear boots. I wear Vans. I don't wear that fucking uh, high-end shit. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. These are Those high are high-end. But not to them. You know, they think the the Jordan 1 lows are high-end. But I don't wear those. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I think they would stay away from me with my dirty-ass mans. Yeah. But no, they'll literally come all the way around their kiosk. Mm-hmm. Be like, hey, man, can I get a quick second of your time? This, this, and that. Like, Nah. Nah, dog. Nah. Get the fuck away from me. Uh huh. <laughs> Bro, kiosk people at the mall are the most hated and disrespected people ever. Well, I mean, dude, you're trying to fucking fix my phone and your shit looks all fucking janky. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially or- the teeth whining people. Those ones piss me off the most. <laughs> I fucking hate those motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, just give me 45 minutes of your time at $900 and I can whiten your teeth. It's like, no. Or it's like, oh. or it's like those guys, uh, Oh, brother, brother, you look a tense. You look a little tense, huh, brother. Come on, brother. <laughs> then like, dog, get away from me. No, I don't want to fucking massage. All right, guys. If you ever wanted to start a podcast, it takes essentials. And one of them, and the most essential, is Anchor. The easiest and most seamless way to upload and share your podcast to anybody and everybody. All it takes is the click of a button and bam, you're up everywhere. So be sure to check out anchor.fm. To get up and start today. It's like, no, man, you're not going to hit my fucking pressure points. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want a massage. No. If I wanted a massage, I would go into your business. All right? People do get massages, though. They do get massages. But it's like, how many? You know? And then you have to do it in front of everybody. And it's like, dude, they're so fucking brutal. They're just... Just <laughs> going, you're going ham in there, man. What are you trying to d- separate my fucking C6 and C7? You wake up the next day with fucking bruises on your back and shit. Dude. Been there before. Literally, what are they trying to do to you? They're trying to paralyze you? Probably. They're trying to get that check, homie. But what I'm saying is, uh, what, I was, what I'm trying to get to is, those kiosk people, they're just unintentionally the most hated people in the mall. I mean, they do it to themselves. You know what I mean? They do it to themselves. They do it to themselves, but then again, it's like they gotta they, get it back they were, too. they were probably fucking made that way, though, after months of fucking getting rejected. And they're like, fuck, I gotta get some money in this bitch somehow. After months of getting rejected, they're still getting rejected. <laughs> See, but if they're still there, that means people are buying shit. People are buying shit. But the kiosks that you see, it, they're the same in every mall. Jewelry, massage, shoe cleaners. And then little widgets and shit. And phone cases. And widgets. Yes. Always. So, Always. Some of the phone cases are fire, though. Some of the phone cases are fire. Oh, and also the teeth whitening and the uh, phone repairs. Yes. 
You always got an Arab dude fixing the phones, Arab always, lady. Always. Or Middle Eastern. I, I don't know. Uh-huh. Something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I'm fucking ignorant on that. But yeah. It's always that type. You know what always, I mean? Always. Always. Always for some reason. Oh, man. But it's like, hey, they, they do be fixing the phone really quick, though. And did you buy anything? I did get my phone fixed from them once, actually. Yeah? It's like, come back in 15 minutes. I got it for you. Oh, yeah? That's a terrible what, accent. What happened? Bro, you fixed that shit in a jiffy. What'd you break? I cracked my screen. Uh. You know, obviously that's not the hardest repair to to do. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was surprised at how fast you fucking fixed it. You just went around, got a little fucking hot dog on a stick, and no, came back. I, I literally just gave him my phone. I went into a store that was literally right across the way from him. Uh huh. Came back in ten minutes. He was done before the estimated time that he gave me. Fire. Yeah. Fucking fire. Wow. Yeah. Aww. You know what's the lost art though? What? Shoe shiners. No, they're not. You're just talking about them. You mean real shoe shiners, like real leather shoe shiners. ones? Yeah, that is a lost art. I, I, before I deleted TikTok, I saw actually a lot of shoe shiners, but Le- for leather. Like at the subway and. Oh yeah. You know, out in the street and yeah, stuff like, like those that. Those OG ass wooden chairs and like put your feet up and yes. it's like yes. burning it and shit. And cobblers. What's a cobbler? Cobblers, the guy that repairs shoes. Mm. You know what I mean? You have to actually go to like a store now, like a special store. Yeah, because I'm I'm real big into that too. Like I love seeing um, handmade, handcrafted, hand. No, I well yeah that too. But it's like I love seeing those videos where they're repairing an outsole of a shoe mm. because it's so worn down that they need a new outsole. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because with leather shoes, with leather shoes, you want to keep the same top because the. The leather on the footbed is formed to your foot. Yeah. So it's perfect. It's perfect. It's comfortable. And it's specifically for you. But obviously, the outsole isn't going to last you for a lifetime. Mm-hmm. So you got to keep getting it repaired and switched out and stuff like that. That's what a cobbler does. I love that shit. That's pretty cool. But that's slowly starting to die. Sadly. Because people are just buying shoes like Vans, Converse, stuff like that, and just throwing them away once they're thrashed. Yeah. But obviously those are the type of shoes that you can't really repair. You know what I mean? Not anymore. I don't think ever. You know, like, some people, like, you always see it's like, oh, don't guys, don't keep your Jordans in the box. Don't do this. Wear them. They're meant to be worn because this is, like, a 10-year-old shoe, and he just, like, barely squeezes the foam, and it just, like, completely just falls yes, apart. It just, That's yeah. sad. That's, That's terrible. It's terrible. Especially for shoes that but are... But that shoe will not do that. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it will. No. Well, because that's a... It's like, like a, a foam, foam, plastic, yes, exactly. yeah, no. But I'm saying, like, that sucks. That fucking sucks. Yeah. Especially for a shoe like that. Yeah. That's that expensive? Yeah. Dude, that's insane. Well, I had a fun weekend, too. What'd you do? We watched the UFC together, remember? Oh, that's right. Hold on. Penelope! <laughs> She's gonna come and sabotage it. Yeah, she's coming. So, we watched UFC. That was fun. The fights were okay. I mostly just, you know, sat there and did my thing. And, uh, come here. Come here. And she's gone. (laughs) Penelope, come here. Hey. And then, uh,. Uh, the next morning, I woke up extra early. You know, I said I was going to Rams camp. Did I talk to you about that? Oh at all? yeah, that's right, Nervine. Yeah, come here. And uh, you know, I wasn't gonna wear my jersey. But then I realized that there's two Seahawks fans in the car, and they're basically a division rivals, kind of. They're in the same division, so I'm like, I'm not gonna get as much hate. The whole fucking time we're getting booed. I saw your video. We got we went on TikTok, bro. We went on fucking TikTok. How many, how many, uh, how many views did you get on that? Um, at the time, well, I didn't post anything. Somebody posted, and at the time, it had like 400 likes. But that person's not shadow banned. No. Well, they had like 400 <laughs> likes at the time. Yeah. Because it was like commenting on someone's like, oh, what if I showed up with a Seahawks jersey? He's like, this is what happens. And it's just us walking by. It was so funny. And, uh, you know, I fucking really enjoyed it. Training camp was cool. They were mostly just doing punt returns and shit. They were mostly just doing punt returns and shit. And, um, I mean, that's not like I can really say. So it wasn't even really like a practice. You didn't really get to see that. I didn't get to see. No, I did get one picture of uh, Sean McVay, who's our head coach. And then I also got a picture of uh, Cooper Cup, who's the MVP of the Super Bowl last year. Very great player. Very, very great. So I did get pictures of them, but they were really far. 
And then uh, we left like 20 minutes early because we want to beat the traffic. And they weren't even doing anything at practice, so fuck it. And that's when we got most of the booze. I mean, just bad. Just fucking terrible. Penelope, come here. She's scared of the camera. You saw Gotta that? Gotta embrace the hate, man. I know. It's like Trey Young. Well, I did. So I was, I was laughing the whole time. I thought it was fucking hilarious. You should have gave him a little... Like and, D-Generation uh, Max, baby. <laughs> and I remember we were sitting there waiting for the light to turn green because we were leaving the parking lot. And there's like 10 people at the at the light trying to cross. And then this Asian lady said, oh, can I get a can I get a one of your flags? Because we're all holding our flags out the window because that was funny. And uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, here. So I give it to her. And then there's like these two little kids fighting. They're like, oh, well, I want a flag. I want a flag. I'm like, oh, someone give me a fucking flag. So I give one to the kid. And then they're like, you have any more flags? And the guy's like, no, I'm keeping mine. And then... They were like, oh, and they give me one more, and this old guy comes to go grab it. I was like, oh, it's for the kids, right? And he's like, uh huh. And I'm like, <laughs> and then he walks away, and I'm like, it's for the kids, right? And he's like, yeah. And he like gives me like a pouty look, and he gives it to the other kid. I'm like, you're a fucking piece of shit, old man. You fucking kidding me? So old ass dude was even in the group was gonna just take this fucking flag. This fucking piece of shit. Hey man, he's on his way out. He's trying to get everything what he can. What a piece of shit. What a piece of <laughs> he's shit. He's trying to get everything he so can. So those two kids ended up getting their flags. The little Rams flag. It said, uh, Vamos Rams. Vamos Los Rams. Oh, stupid. so Peter flag. Fucking stupid. Fuck the Rams, homie. <laughs> Fuck the Rams. But yeah, it was fun. That's basically all I did. I think that's it. I got some hate. No love at all. I got booed like bad. Oh yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. We were bad. chirping the fans. Because like, I mean, we beat the Rams in the Super Bowl 13-3. You know, shit on them. Defensively excellent in the Super Bowl. What year was that? 16, I think. Maybe. I think I'm right on that. And then uh, Rams fans really hate this because 92.5% of all Rams fans are fake fans. So there's only 7.5% that are real fans. Um, well, a lot of them are Giants fans in reality because they switched because of OBJ. <laughs> no. Hopping on the bandwagon. I mean, they're just fake. They're like, fake as fuck. Yeah, well. they're okay? just fake. So what I what I tell them is, hey, out of the past 21 seasons in the NFL, you've only had seven winning seasons. And most of them are, like, barely winning, except for, like, the last four. Like, the last four years, they've been winning pretty good, like, 12, 13 wins a season. Well, obviously, this last one, they were winning, winning. Okay, well, obviously. But I'm saying, like, you have... 14 losing seasons. That means you lost more games than you won. Right. That's fucking embarrassing. So congratulations. Clap it up for yourselves. Your team fucking sucks. Clap it up and fuck off. But the thing is, every team is going to have that eventually. 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 And now was their time. Or not now, but like at that, that time was their time. Fuck them. Fuck the Rams. Your team's going to have that 14 fucking season stretch. <laughs> hasn't Eventually. happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. Has not happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. Before but. we go, I have one more little story for you. It happened earlier this week. Okay. I tweeted about it. This little fucking kid called me his dad at the gas station. I'm just in there and fucking get my drink. I, I go in occasionally to get drinks after work. Not like alcohol, just like monster or whatever. And uh, I go in there and I'm like in line and this little fucking kid, he's like, oh, dad, dad. And I'm like, I look, I'm like, I'm not your dad. And I'm like, okay, where, where the fuck is this kid's dad? And his dad's taking a shit or something in the bathroom. And I walk, and the dad walks out, this dark Mexican dude. Do I fucking look dark Mexican at all? Like, at all? No. You look like a rosy pink. I didn't even look anything like this kid's fucking dad. Is this kid fucking stupid? Was the kid dark? No. Maybe that wasn't his fucking dad. He's more like tannish. Oh, okay, so he was... What I'm de- saying, it's like... He definitely had a darker complexion than me. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, I look nothing like your fucking dad. How old was he? I'm guessing he's like five. Take that motherfucker in there with you. What are you doing? I know. It's like, hey, I'm going to go to this fucking gas station and go take a shit. Uh, just, you know, kick rocks over there, kid. Hey, cashier, watch my son real quick. Yeah, so I'm like, I look nothing like this kid's fucking dad. How the fuck did this even happen? And when the guy finally walked out, I was like, I'm not your fucking dad. Not even close. Surprised he wasn't saying, papa, papa. Like, in my head, I was like, you know, maybe I look like a little bit like this kid's dad. No. Not at all. No. No. He was probably a lot smaller than me as well. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, man. I mean, that's all I got for you. You got enough kids to worry about. I know. <laughs> Penelope. Come here. Come here. Why not? Yeah, let's roll it up, because I got to take a bat whiz. 
All right. I gotta go pee pee. Follow us, Daddy's Dungeon Pod, on Instagram, everywhere actually. You know, send us a DM, guys. Shout us out. We're shadow banned still. Can't figure it out. I, sh- I mean, we might. We have to figure this out. Like one day we have to sit down and get 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 to the knit and grit and like we, try to get in will. contact with them. We will. But yeah, we're shadow banned, guys. You know, fucking shout us out, please. Hit us up. You know, do something. Any questions? DM us. Any Email. crazy stories? Yeah. Gmail. Gmail. DM. Comments. Daddy's Dungeon Pod. Yeah. Instagram. Daddy's Dungeon Pod. Twitter, sick puppy with two E's. Instagram, sick puppy, two E's. Instagram, big deal, two G's. Twitter, big deal, two G's, underscore, in between. Hoser, that's all I got for you. Happy International Beer Day, guys. Peace.